we are being called right now to deepen into our truth, to stop our own lies in our life, to become aware of the lies that we tell ourselves, the lies that we tell others, because that's what keeps us locked up in this third dimensional reality. And we want to unlock those doors of the self-imposed prison that we put ourselves in. And to do that is about you stepping into deeper truth. And as you go down the rabbit hole right now, we're all being called to investigate, to dive deeper, to seek, to seek the truth within ourselves. And as you do, you're going to open one door of truth. And that door is going to open another door, to a deeper truth, and another door, and then another door. And the journey is not fun. It can be pretty scary. And make you angry, frustrated. And as I mentioned earlier in past videos, yes, it's important to discover the reality that we live in, the hell on earth, so that we can experience heaven every single moment. And it's knowing that when you are doing your research, to also take time to bring in the balance, to bring in the balance of self-care, looking after self, respecting self, loving self. And again, that balance is really tuning into your spirituality, tuning into what your heart loves to do, what brings you joy, what brings you happiness. It's about spending time with family, being out in nature, being with your friends, friends who support you on this incredible journey that we're on. And yes, you may have lost a few friends along the way, and even family members. It is our beliefs that are causing the separation. And we are here to make that okay right now because a lot of people are not able to handle the knowing. They're not able to be in that realm of truth and understanding, especially if they've never done any of the personal development work prior to this. For those who are waking up right now, it can be a rude awakening. And so we need to really have compassion for everyone because we really don't know what their soul's life lessons are, the journey that they're on. We are all unique. We're here, to, we're here to hold space for those who are ready. So as you are moving forward in your life, you may have the idea that you want to share this information with your parents or your sister or brother, or family members, friends. And it's okay to share. We just don't want to push information on anyone because when we push information onto anyone, they will automatically go into resistance. And so we need to really respect where they're at. Denial, again, is always the first phase. And then anger. And Eventually they get to that realm of acceptance and hopefully sooner than later. But just remember how hard it is for you to change your own habits, your own self-destructive habits, your bad habits. Just know how hard and difficult it can be to, to shift. And that then applies to our family and friends because it is a shift in our belief system and it can cause cognitive dissonance and when we have one belief that we've held for so long 
And then a new belief comes along and the ego mind does not want to get rid of this old belief. But yet there's this new belief that you know there's something to it. So there's this war that can go on within the mind. It's a struggle to let go of an old reality. It's everything that we believed in is crumbling now. It's crumbling. So this is about you taking time again to find relaxation, to, to really tune into what makes you happy, to be creative, to write. If anything right now, if you don't have a journal, I highly recommend you get one. You're gonna be wanting to do a lot of writing. It's called mind dumping. You, you write, 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 write. So this is where you write all of your feelings, all of your beliefs that are crumbling, all of your fears. You just dump everything onto paper. We want to release our anger out in the world. We want to release our fear of another human being. We are all divinely connected. Everyone is your soul brother and soul sister, as you are very much aware. And even the darkest of the dark, we are all connected because we are here to learn from each other and through each other, to awaken, to love, to keep our heart open. As many of us have closed our heart. And we're here to open our heart. To open our heart to love so that we can experience a greater reality. And I am moving through this experience just like you. I am very grateful I woke up spiritually in 1993. And uh, God just came right into my living room, touched me, and I felt this incredible love, a love beyond any human love I'd ever experienced. And in that moment, I knew that the reality I lived in was not was all an illusion, and that the only thing that was real was love. Mm -hmm. Love is the greatest healer. We have the power to heal our body to heal this world. And it's through our acts of kindness right now that is going to propel us forward. And there's so many that are having negative thoughts. They're challenged mentally, emotionally, anxiety, Suicide is very high right now, unfortunately. Lots of people who are isolated, feeling alone, depression. And as we send love to all of these people, we help them connect to their higher self. Another voice that lives inside of them that they may have forgotten about we have two voices. We have the voice below the line, the voice of the ego, the voice of the Luciferian consciousness that keeps everyone in fear. And then we have voice of our divine nature, the voice of our higher self, the voice of our inner wisdom. And that's the voice we need to tune into right now we need to tune into that voice to say, no, I will not listen to that voice of darkness anymore because that voice does not serve me. That voice that wants to create separation does not serve me, does not serve my highest good. So if you can be with those who are feeling isolated right now. Everyone is yearning for hugs right now. Everyone, whether they feel it or not. Their fear right now, it may be overriding 
the yearning for connection. Connection is what heals. Your intention is the key to manifesting a greater reality. Behind every action, ask yourself, what is my intention behind this? Every action, every behavior, ask yourself, why am I doing this? Is it because a voice of authority outside of me who does not know me saying that I have to do this? Or can you tune into the voice that says, hmm, this doesn't feel right. Connection is about the spirit. Separation is a Luciferian mind control system. And unfortunately, that is what the controllers of this world are hooked into. And we are being called to unhook, to let go of that consciousness. And I am so excited for what's coming because I know the light is greater than the darkness. I know that we are here to rise up and we are going to be creating the most incredible future together. Keep moving forward. And remember, balancing out the researching, going down the rabbit hole, digging up truth, sharing truth, sharing it and sharing it, and then balancing it out with eating healthy, surrounding yourself with people who support you, encourage you, inspire you, exercising every day, whether it's walking, knowing that your body is meant to move, loving yourself, having compassion, for believing in what you did before and saying, you know what, <laughs> that's where I was. And now I get to make a new choice. I get to believe in something greater. If you're enjoying my videos, I would love for you to subscribe and join me on this amazing journey. Love you. Namaste.